Okay, on to the fun stuff. Now we're gonna show you, so now you've mastered your robot, right? You're not having any more troubleshooting problems. Baron, this robot's working great for me. It's out mowing the grass every day. It's not getting stuck. My grass is looking phenomenal. Okay, let's take a look at it then. Okay, I'm gonna look at this, uh, I'm gonna go down to the clock setting. Let me go back here. I just scroll down to the clock setting. And now this is where it gets really interesting. Auto work time, I don't wanna mess with that. Customized work time, I wanna to touch that. Customized work area, I don't want you to touch that because we use special tools to measure uh, the yard out and everything, but I'll show you those menus. Enable boundary wire cut, that's set to yes. Okay, let's go back up. Auto work time, don't mess with this. It'll mess the whole times up on your robot. So I wanna to go to the customized work time um, menu in the working area, I'm gonna enter. And now I'm seeing I'm starting at 12 p.m. or noon, and it's cutting for six hours. Now, that does not mean it's going to cut from 12 to 6, even though it might say it. Really, what it wants to do is cut for six hours total in the day. So there might be multiple times it comes back to the charging station to recut, and it will leave the charging station to go out. And during the spring and the growing season, the first few months of the year, May, June, July, probably we're going to have this set at six hours then I'm going to tell you if you want to in an email, you can adjust that setting yourself. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go down to the, the clock again as we, the menu just defaulted back out on me. So I can go, I, I want mine to cut at noon. The reason why I cut mine at noon, now normally you'd probably want to set yours up at 10 a.m. Personally, that's probably a good time to do it. I want to set it up mostly in the afternoon because the grass can stay crisper. The, the hot sun is beating down the grass. There's no rain from my sprinklers. There's less probability of rain most of the time during the afternoon. The, gra the, the, the heat is the highest. So the grasp is the crisp, crispest to cut at this particular time. So that's why I want to cut my grass around noon. But you can set yours up at 10 a.m. That's fine. That's where I, have, where I have some of the robots. If you have different sprinkler times or your neighbors have different sprinklers times, like my neighbor sometimes runs his sprinklers at really weird times, and that's not good. You want to run your sprinklers during the night when the, the, the air is cool and your grass can be cooled off by that nice cool water, getting that nice drink. Okay, let's take a look here. So I want to change, let's say I want to change the uh, start time to 10 a.m. So I just change this, I type in 10, I hit enter, I hit enter again. It takes me to the next, to the minutes. I want to change this to say 1030 maybe. I hit type 30, hit enter again. I hit enter again to select that particular field, and then I hit AM. Because so I don't want it cutting at night. But you can adjust it. If you get your robot working the way you want to, feel free to have it run at night. That's no problem. I want to change the hours to 5.5. .5. So I hit 5.5 and hit enter. So there we go. That's how I would change the times, and I would do that for all dates. I just hit the down button because there's no left or right button on this. Okay, so it's actually not letting me out of that. So what do I do is I hit the back button. The back button allows me to go up or down, and I can go to Tuesday. If I want to back out of Tuesday, I hit the back button. Then I go down to Wednesday, hit the OK button to select that field. Let's just select that. I want to change that to 9 a.m. I'll change that to a.m., and I'm going to have that cut for 3.2 hours for just some random reason. Now, you don't have to change the, out, the total hours. I wouldn't change. But if you want to change the times, I don't mind that. I'm telling you, I like to run my robots five, six hours a day, and that's how we've set up the program. I'm going to link, I'm going to have a sheet listed here. If you know the square footage of your yard, which you can find in your account settings, you can adjust the times down. But here's one, so here's another troubleshooting tip. My robot is working perfectly, but for whatever reason, my grass is still uneven. My robot has been going out every day. The scheduled loop is completing. Well, the reason why maybe it's not working perfectly is because it's not running long enough. So we need to make sure it runs a little higher. So that's where I can adjust the times in the menu here to run it out. And I'm going to change this back to noon. I'm just moving the arrow keys up and down. I'm going to change this back to six hours. I'm going to go back to Tuesday, hit the back button to back out, hit go to Wednesday, hit OK. Then I hit two, one, two to change that and go to noon, change that to noon, and I change that to six hours, no problem. And that way I can change it. So with some people who are more confident and more tech savvy and so forth, if you don't want to manipulate these menus, you can call us and let us know. But I want you to be able to take control of the robot 
you're leasing from us. So you can control it and you can take power over it and you can change the settings. So it's another way for you to troubleshoot how your robot is working. Let me say one last thing. Say my neighbor runs sprinklers, you know, remember if this robot hits the, the rain gauge will trigger on this robot that hits my neighbor's sprinklers, which he has them out running, let's say at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Well, I want to schedule around his sprinklers. Now, as much as I, I think I'm pretty awesome, I can't go out to your property and brainstorm this. I don't know when your neighbors are going to be running sprinklers, and that could be a reason why your robot is not cutting as much as it should, and your yard should look as good. But that could be could be one reason why your robot is not performing at the level it should be.